In response to my last video on breath management, I had somebody ask me a really important question. And that was, well, if we're keeping this inspiratory posture, then doesn't that mean that we're holding our breath or we're under energizing or under supporting our sounds? And to both of those questions, the answer is a resounding no. We absolutely need air moving through the glottis. If we don't, the vocal instrument doesn't function properly and we're not going to create the kinds of sounds that we want. We are not holding our breath. Holding our breath is what happens here when we close off the glottis, when we close off the mouth. We are not holding the breath here. All we're doing is trying to manage those subglottal pressures a little bit more effectively so that they don't become too high. Again, as I explained in that other video, high is okay. Sometimes we need high subglottal pressures for the particular singing task. All we're trying to do here is ensure that the responsibility of mitigating or managing those subglottal pressures is put on the larger respiratory muscles and not on the delicate vocal folds. Because usually when the vocal folds have to try to manage that subglottal pressure, the whole glottal closure mechanism starts to have to work really, really hard and hyperfunctionally, And that's when we stop getting air moving appropriately through the glottis. And so sometimes what happens when singers are first exploring this coordination of the appoggio or the inspiratory hold or singing on the gesture of inhalation, they kind of take the concept a little too far and they start to sort of push down a little bit or think too much outward and then the ribs are left locked and stiffed in this expanded position. That's not what we want. We never want rigidity. We never want stiffness. Now, sometimes thinking down might be okay for certain singers, especially for singers with very heavy, naturally weighted instruments, dramatic voices, and very low voiced singers. But for the most part, I do not encourage active or conscious engagement or contraction of the pelvic floor muscles. My belief is that the pelvic floor muscles become passively engaged whenever they need to be and to whatever extent they need to be for the particular task. I don't think that we really need to think downward very much with our support, like we're bearing down as in having difficulties going to the bathroom. When we start to do that, we can run in, potentially run into a few different problems, one of which is a locking of the solar plexus. The solar plexus is a little bundle of nerves that kind of wraps around behind the stomach. And when we lock the solar plexus, we get this really, really tight sound because the air is not flowing appropriately through the glottis. So to get an idea of how the locking of the solar plexus affects the tone and the anatomy and physiology of it, Let's picture, for example, somebody coming at us with a fist, getting ready to punch us in the gut. And so what do we do? We tense, we contract all the abdominal muscles really, really firmly in anticipation and preparation for that blow to the gut. And so if we try to sing on that, we're gonna get a really tight sound like this and it's gonna be really, really hard to sustain and all of my muscles are kind of shaking now and it's really, really hard to do this and it's hard to move air through the glottis because what I'm doing is uh, I'm holding everything really, really stiff and rigid. Rigidity, stiffness is not what we're going for. Again, we are not maintaining this posture of inhalation at all costs. We are not trying to keep the rib cage expanded at all costs. Again, effective breath management is a dynamic, flexible coordination. And so we need to allow these recoil forces, we need to allow these muscles to do their jobs. We're not preventing that from happening. All we're trying to do is control them a little bit more so that we can pace that outgoing breath and so that we can have a little bit more control over the subglottal pressures. All right, so I hope that clarifies matters a little bit for you. Please let me know if you need further clarification and I will do my best to help. So stay tuned for the next video on breath management. I'll get it up really, really soon. And don't forget to subscribe. I always kind of describe it as like an old man. Ooh, hey, Sammy.